Hello everyone. Are all brain tumors cancerous? Or does the diagnosis of a brain tumor put a limit to the lifespan of a patient? Well, definitely no. So in this video, let's look at one of such a brain tumor which is not cancerous but benign and can be cured completely if the right treatment is sought at the right time. So let's discuss about this tumor called as vestibular schwannoma which is also referred to as acoustic neuroma even though it is a misnomer and sometimes referred to as a CP angle tumor because of the location it occupies. Now do make sure you watch this video till the end so that you get all the important information and in case if your near or dear one ends up having this condition they can get away with as minimal damage as possible. Before starting with the tumor as such, you need to understand there are 12 pairs of nerves which arise directly from the brain and carry out various functions and these are called as cranial nerves. The 8th cranial nerve is called as vestibulocochlear nerve. Now this has two components, the vestibular component which is responsible for maintaining the balance of the body and the cochlear component which is responsible for hearing. Now what is a schwannoma? A schwannoma is a benign tumor arising from schwann cells. Now these schwann cells are required for making a covering of any nerve. So obviously vestibular schwannoma is a schwann cell tumor or a schwannoma arising from the vestibular component of the 8th cranial nerve that is a vestibular cochlear nerve. Now as I told you previously, this is also referred to as acoustic neuroma and why is that? And why is that a misnomer? That is because previously this tumor was thought to arise, uh, previously this tumor was thought to arise from the acoustic component or the cochlear component of the nerve and uh, previously it was thought to be a neuroma and not a schwannoma. The other term with which it is referred to is the CP angle tumor. That is because that is the location in the brain. That is CP angle is the location in the brain. The tumor ends up occupying as it grows bigger and bigger. The striking difference between the size of the tumor operated in European countries and America versus the size of the tumor operated in India tells us a very important thing. Here in India, we see a lot of large sized tumors being operated. That is because they present to us usually with secondary complications of the tumor. Whereas in the West, they are picked up early when patients usually have minimal hearing loss and even hearing preservation surgeries are being attempted. Now this is primarily because of lack of awareness in the general public to these initial symptoms of vestibular schwannoma. As a result, patients usually come to us with the secondary complications of the tumor and obviously having a large sized tumor which naturally increases the risk of complications associated with the operation of the tumor. To begin with, patients usually have decreased hearing on the affected side and this decreased hearing is specific to few, count, few kinds of sounds like uh, what is spoken on the phone or few high frequency sounds like the doorbell or the sound of the utensils. Now a very peculiar thing noted in these patients is that they have difficulty in comprehending the spoken words especially in noisy surroundings. Now what does this mean? This means if a patient has early symptoms of vestibular schwannoma and if he is in a noisy surrounding like say for example in a market and if another person talks to him, he is able to he's able to make out that the other person is talking to him, he is able to even hear those words but he is not able to understand what exactly is spoken to him. Now this is very characteristic of vestibular schwannoma. Now along with this, they may also have a tinnitus that is a buzzing sound in the ear or vertigo that is feeling of dizziness. Now all these things eventually progress to complete loss of hearing on the affected side. Well of late the pickup rate is slightly increased thanks to the use of mobile phones or earphones. Because of these patients are able to make out that one of their ear is functioning suboptimally compared to the other. As the tumor grows bigger it starts affecting the other cranial nerves as well. Patients start having decreased sensation on one half of the face or they may have pain on one half of the face which is referred to as trigeminal neuralgia about which we already discussed in the past in this video. Now this is because of involvement of the fifth cranial nerve or the trigeminal nerve. 
The tumor may also involve the seventh cranial nerve or the facial nerve because of which patients have weakness of muscles of one half of the face and end up having deviation of the angle of mouth or inability in closing the eye. Now if the tumor involves what is called as the lower cranial nerves then patients have difficulty in swallowing food or they may as well see change in the quality of their voice. As the tumor grows further it starts compressing the most important part of the brain that is brain stem. Now at this stage the tumor can be life threatening. Now what it also causes is it occludes a CSF pathway or the pathway of fluid inside the brain causing what is called as hydrocephalus. Now let me explain to you this in very simple words. Now inside the brain there is a fluid called as CSF which normally flows in its own pathway inside what's called as ventricles. Now this tumor blocks its flow but its production is happening naturally. Now this is similar to a condition where you switch on the tap of bathroom but block its drainage. What's going to happen? Obviously water is going to get collected in the bathroom. Similarly, now in this condition as its flow is obstructed by the tumor, water is going to get collected. I mean not water, CSF is going to get collected inside the brain. Now what's the problem with this? The problem with this is our brain is nicely protected inside this skull which is made up of bone. So obviously it cannot expand further. So the space inside is limited. It can only accommodate certain uh, certain kind of and certain amount of things so as the fluid increases there is shortage of space for the brain now this condition is called as hydrocephalus and mind you in this particular condition where the tumor is obstructing its flow and not letting it go out the problem is not just because of the accumulation of fluid it is also because of the extra space that the tumor has occupied the treatment is mainly surgical excision unless the tumor is small that is less than 3 cm where there is option of subjecting the tumor to what's called as gamma knife therapy which basically halts the progress of the tumor but in this case where the tumor is smaller in size there is also an option of hearing preserving operation which can be done with a higher success rate well once the size of the tumor becomes more than 3 cm then the treatment is surgical excision only in the operation of the vestibular schwannoma, we give a skin incision behind the ear, we perform a craniotomy and then reach the tumor and perform tumor excision. Well, not a blanket statement, but it can be generally assumed that bigger the tumor, higher the risk of complications with the surgery. The main risk involved with the surgery is the damage to the seventh cranial nerve or the facial nerve, which is very closely adherent to the tumor, resulting in weakness of one half of the facial muscle leading to a deviation of the angle of the mouth or inability to close the eye and obviously as the size of the tumor increases there's also higher risk of leaving behind a residual tumor now any residual tumor left behind will have to be subjected to gamma knife therapy so that its further growth can be halted modern day surgical equipments like operating microscope high speed drill qsa or facial nerve monitor all these things have increased the safety of the operation and also brought down the time duration required in the operative procedure. Well, previously, that is few years back, this operation used to take more than 12 to 16 hours, while now, because of the uh, development in the surgical equipments, this operation takes anywhere between 5 to 10 hours. The problem with the residual tumor, which may have to be left behind so that important structures of the brain are not damaged, is that obviously it can grow back and cause what's called as recurrence of the tumor. So in case of a recurrence, this uh, patients can have all the symptoms that they had in the past and uh, that will have to be reoperated. or in case if it is less than 3 cm size, that will have to be subjected to gamma knife therapy if it is not given previously. And any day reoperation comes with the greater risk of complication than the primary operation. So, as is obvious from the discussion, it is always beneficial to the patient if the disease is picked up early and treated early. Now this to a great extent depends on the awareness of the general public to the initial symptoms of vestibular schwannoma. Do not ignore the early symptoms of decreased hearing or difficulty in hearing some specific types of words or 
difficulty in comprehending the spoken words as these can be the early symptoms of vestibular schwannoma. Do not be reluctant in getting the necessary investigations done which most commonly would be in this case a contrast MRI of the brain because trying to save a few penny uh, by avoiding the scan can prove very costly to your pocket as well as to your health in case if the disease is diagnosed late. The third and the most important point is be aware of a very good neuro facility near you where this kind of complex yet curable surgical conditions can be operated very safely. Well, these were few of the points about this commonly encountered benign brain tumor that is vestibular schwannoma where if the treatment is given at the right time, patients can get away with very minimal problems. I hope you liked the video and I hope you found it very informative. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and for more health and wellness related videos, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.